Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your March 1st to the 15th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed and linked in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Virgo, March 1st to the 15th, 2022, Virgo. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. At the root is at the bottom is our rooted self. The left hand side is our inner self. The top is our emotional self. And the right hand side is the public arena, the public self. So let's see what the cards have to say. We have the seven of wands. So there's something that we're fighting about. And then we have the 10 of swords. This is a, a dying away of the old self, a rebirth of the new. This is darkness before the dawn coming in. So there's something that we're really quite concerned with and that is demanding our immediate attention. It moves us then to our inner self, which is the queen of pentacles and the eight of cups. So the queen of pentacles represents us. We're earth sign energy. We're represented by the pentacles in the minor arcana, by the hermit in the major arcana. And here we're embrace, embracing our prosperity, our, bun, our bounty, our abundance. And we're also walking away from something we once thought we would love. This is an ending, an ending as severe as divorce, an end of a relationship, an end of working at a place that we've been working at, changing jobs, you know, looking at things very differently. This could also be an end of a mindset, you know, I'm not going to be taken advantage of anymore, or I'm not going to be, you know, doing this or that anymore. And it really is a severe change that is coming forward. It brings us to our emotional self. It's the nine of pentacles, be in the moment and celebrate the 10 of wands saying, we're putting down all the burdens, all the chaos, like all the things that we, we carry that are just too much. And now that we're putting them down, we're going to start to be able to see the sun again. We're going to start to be able to enjoy. And then we have in the public arena self, we have the ace of pentacles, the three of of wands, and we have the devil, which is Capricorn energy. So the ace of pentacles, we're definitely taking this gift inwardly. Externally, we might be a bit frustrated. We're like, oh, I'm supposed to be moving forward a lot more quickly than I am, but we're seeing doors open. And we're also going to be kind of addressing a lot of the chaoses that have held us back. Addictions, doubts, fears, chaos, hurts, pains, disappointment. The the devil makes us look at these things. Here it is called the horned one, it is the god of the forest. And so the god of the forest is the incarnation of chaos because a forest is chaos. You know, you can weed a spot, you can cut down plants, and then they will still grow back. So here there is a sense of what do I need to take care of every day as I move forward? And part of that is ourselves. And part of it is also looking at the traps that we've been, you know, kind of locked into or fallen into, or the way that we are looking at what people say, it has to be like this and it has to be like that, or it is like this, it is like that. If you're not this old and have done this, then obviously, you know, everything's going to fall apart. These are things that we're going to be saying, you know what, that might be true for these people, but it's not going to be true for me. 
And people will say, Virgo, well, what are you special? And the answer is yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am because I have this power moving me forward, meaning I am connected to to a greater connect to to a greater connection, to a greater source, to the universe, to what I desire within my life, to, you know, God's source spirit, however we see the divine, the universe. We're really honing in on that connection and planting seeds of greatness to move forward with. So let's look at the energy we need to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. This is Freya. This is Sagittarius energy. We need to be mindful of other people's ideologies, other people's way of doing things. You know, being enticing to us, we're looking at those people and thinking, wow, they're really successful. They're really powerful. That's the way that I should do it. But it's not going to resonate within us. And so we shouldn't be compromising ourselves for things that, you know, might work for us or, or most likely won't. It moves us to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. This one right here. This is determination. This is the solar plexus chakra. Like the salmon swimming upstream, we swim to a place of rebirth and it is a challenging swim. And so here we're finding our voice, we're finding ourselves, we're seeing ourselves more and more and we're transforming. And that is a very powerful place to be at, that place of transformation, that place of insight, that place of power. At our root is the seven of wands. We're being warned here not to fight so much. Our first instinct is going to be to fight. And yes, there's something that we're fighting for. We should stand our ground. We should know what we want. We should be focused, but constantly fighting is draining our energy. And we're kind of, the battery is low, right? So here we're looking at all the betrayals, all the hurts, all the disappointments that we have been through. We acknowledge them. And then we start using what we have learned to, to move us forward in a powerful, distinct way. All the swords that have been stabbing us in the back, all the heartbreaks and pains we've been through over the last 10 years. Now, all of a sudden, it's like, do you know how strong I am? Do you know how much I've withstood? Do you know how I'm still standing here? I move forward in strength and power. We'll use that strength and power, yes, to defend where we want to be. But we have to be very mindful of always fighting because it's going to deplete us. It's going to overwhelm us. It's going to have us not moving in the place that we need to be. We then step into the essence of ourselves. Well, not the essence. That would be the the her the, the hermit. But here it is that sense of this is my prosperity. This is my abundance. This is also the nurturing energy that is taking the seeds and making so much more out of them. That is growing forward wealth and connection and what I desire. We're turning inward and inwardly. It doesn't matter if we're feminine energy or not externally. What matters is that we're, we're taking hold of it. I have a brother who always comes through in the cards as the queen of cups. That's his emotional energy. And so here, there is this beautiful emotional energy when we turn inward of the queen of pentacles, of nurturing, of connection, of understanding, also of prosperity and wealth and exuding this, this air of confidence. Even if we don't feel as confident as our, at our root, we feel overwhelmed or as if we're moving forward in a way that doesn't have the, the clear footing that we want it to. It moves us to the eight of cups as we're honing this gift, as we're taking this gift, as we're nurturing ourselves, as we're embracing our prosperity, as we're crowned with love and we're guided by our dreams, it moves us to walking away from something that we once thought we would love. We thought this was it. You know, this was the way I was going to move forward. And this is the way that my happiness was going to come into my life. And what spirit is showing us here is that, okay, it could have lasted for a little bit, but that's not my road. And if it's not our road, why are we trying to walk it? Why are we trying to force it? It's like Cinderella's stepsisters in the in the original version who cut off the front and the back of their foot in order, well, one cut off the front, the other cut off the back in order to get their foot to fit into this, the slipper. Here, it's saying, why? What is it that I'm trying to make happen that just isn't happening? And is it scary to walk away? Is it overwhelming to walk away? Or is it powerful? Is it beautiful? Is it bringing me to a new adventure. It brings us to the nine of pentacles. Emotionally, we have to honor where we stand right now. The world is in chaos, right? Everything is intense and overwhelming. And it might actually seem selfish to say, honor where you are, celebrate where you are, embrace the bounty and the beauty of where you are. Because there could be this energy of, if so many are suffering, you know, shouldn't I be suffering too? Or the suffering impacts me, it hurts me, especially if we're empathic. Here with the Nine of Pentacles, it's saying, watch your purse, guard your money, be mindful of things, but celebrate. Celebrate because your hard work has paid off. Celebrate because you are worth celebrating. And embrace bounty and beauty and abundance. 
because we've been carrying a heavy load. And the Nine of Pentacles coming in, it's a well-deserved celebration. The Ten of Wands is feeling overwhelmed. It is saying, I only deserve the dirt on my shoes because that's all I can see. The mud beneath my feet. And what Spirit is saying here, Virgo, is be very mindful of that. Remember, Atlas was punished by having to carry the world upon his shoulders. He was a titan. He lost the war with the Olympians. That was his punishment. We have to be very mindful of as we're carrying this, our stresses, as we're carrying everybody else's stresses, as we're you know putting so much weight upon our shoulders. Are we taking away our own bounty, our own beauty? Are we taking away the, the joy that we have? Let us put down the burdens that are weighing us down. Let us look at what we can create from what we're carrying. Because we're going to be saying, oh, well, when it's just right, or oh, when the ideas are just right, or oh, this, oh, that. And what Spirit is saying here is what about now? There is a beautiful time and it's right here. Let us embrace it. Let us see it. Let us be guided forward by it. And it moves us to the ace of pentacles, prosperity, success, bounty, abundance. It moves us to the three of wands, which is looking at new horizons, seeing new ways forward. And as we're doing this, as God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe hands us this gift as we walk through this new road, as we in look at and embrace our dreams and our desires and what is intrinsic to us. And as the door is opened, what is holding us back? What are the hurts and the pains and the chaos and the disasters that hold us in our place and say, you can't. And we fervently and openly and honestly now say, oh, yes, I can. We're going to see the chaos. And look it dead in the eye and say, oh, no, to these chains. These can be chains of addictions, alcohol, drugs, food, sex, shopping, you know, those type of dopamine enhancing addictions. But it can also be fear. It can also be anxiety. It can also be self-doubt. It can also be just being so busy with everything else that we forget ourselves. It could be doing something that gets everybody to praise us. And yet we feel miserable inside. We look at the devil and we say, no more. We look at the chaos and we say no more. And that's a very powerful stance to take, Virgo. And we're doing so in the public arena and people see us blessed and people see us moving forward. They don't see the struggle that's inside. They don't see how hard it will be to take down the weight, to say enough, enough. I'm not carrying the world on my shoulders anymore. It moves us to our internal energy to be mindful of. And it's the queen of cups, emotional manipulation emotional manipulation and a person diving deeper and deeper and deeper into certain emotions that we just don't need to be a part of. It moves us to our subconscious chakra energy and that's angels and masters. This is the soul star chakra located six inches above our crown. This is the fact that we are connected and we are protected. During this time, our angels and divinity are right there with us, guiding us, honoring us, walking with us. It moves us to our subconscious tarot message. And it's Leo, it's strength. This is strength and determination and focus and insight coming through the compassion of the heart, the love of the soul. This isn't brute force, I will take over, it will be mine, strength. This is the working together. This is the, the coming together in a way that we have it, hadn't expected. This is finding an unlikely ally and seeing our doors open and that that is strong. That is beautiful. It's also very much the statement of the strongest people I have ever known in my life have always been the little old women or the little old men who have stood and withstood when you would think that they would have crumbled. And there is just a brilliant strength there that is, that is amazing. So let us remember that strength. It is the strength of wisdom. It is the strength of age. All right. All right, Virgo. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and the intensity of this time. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Virgo, and may you have a blessed time.